Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today I am taking you with me on a day in my life and I'm also sharing a Costco haul and we're going to be cooking dinner. So come along with me on this busy day in the life of a working mom. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jen. I am a full-time working mom to two kids. My kids are eight and 11 and I am a nurse. I work in a hospital about 45 minutes away from where I live in quality improvement. My days usually start pretty early, so this morning I got up just before 5 a.m. and I showered the night before, which was nice because I didn't have to mess with my hair, so I just threw some dry shampoo in it, I straightened it, and put my makeup on so I could get out the door. I do have some videos where I share a little bit more detail of some of the makeup and skincare products that I use, so I will link those videos down below. Let's just do what you want to please don't be polite cause i like your attitude let's forget about a curfew cause all that is stuck in my head it's me and you both speed and my heart is racing but i'm not sure i wanna place it cause it only does this with you also in the month of August 2020, I am posting a video every single day for Vlogist, so I would love it if you're not subscribed, if you would do so and stick around to see what I post for the rest of the month. I will also link my Vlogist playlist on the end screen of this video, so you can go to that after you're done watching if you need to catch up on any videos. So no day is complete without putting my earrings on. I just don't feel put together if I don't do that. So that was the last step after I put my hair up and now I'm going to head downstairs and start getting things ready and my bags packed to go to work. So the first thing I have to do is make some coffee. Uh, we do have a Hamilton Beach. This is like a dual coffee maker. There's a carafe on one side and then the other side has space for a K cup. Um, we like it pretty well. We've had it for a while. So I'll link it down below. It's if you're looking for something like that. And then while the coffee is brewing, I'm gonna grab my lunch out of the refrigerator. I always try to do this the night before, get anything together that I wanna take to work the next day because if I leave it till morning, there's no way that I will put it together and then I'll just end up eating in the cafeteria and that's not very healthy. So today I'm taking a salad with some chicken and I'm also taking some fruit and then I'm taking a yogurt parfait as well. Our bodies meet, I can feel the tension Move us into the next dimension Let's just let our bodies be true We make out for the thrill of it Mess around for the thrill of it One good thing about going to work so early is that the traffic is usually not that bad, so that is a nice uh, perk of that. So now it's about 1230 and I'm just getting around to eating my lunch. I am having a uh, spring mix salad with some of the Tyson blackened chicken tenders on top with some blue cheese and some vinaigrette. That was my lunch. And then later on in the day, I did eat my yogurt parfait since I didn't end up eating it for lunch. So there's just some Chobani yogurt in there with some homemade granola and some strawberries. And I'll link this container that I got down below. I love it. All right, so it is 3.30 and I am off work. I'm at Costco and Adam has sent me here to get a pork belly. And he said, this is what a pork belly looks like. <laughs> Apparently he wants to make pork belly burnt ends in the smoker tomorrow. He has tomorrow off. So he can do that while I'm at work. So he asked me to come here and see if they had one. Um, usually Costco has like pretty good selection of like larger cuts of meat. Like we usually get brisket here and stuff like that. So they should have it. So I'm not really planning on getting anything else, but if anything else uh, strikes my fancy, I'll probably pick that up. And then I should have my Green Chef box waiting at home tonight to cook for dinner. That is gonna be awesome. I don't have to think about what I'm gonna cook. I'm just gonna go home and make probably the quickest meal that's in there. Okay, so I wanna take a quick second and thank Green Chef for sponsoring today's Day in the Life video. If you guys are not familiar with Green Chef, they are a meal delivery service and they are a USDA certified organic company. They have a ton of meal options, including paleo, plant-powered, keto, and balanced living. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you the Keto Box, which is one of my favorites from them. 
One other thing I like about Green Chef is that their recipes are usually pretty quick and they're super easy with step-by-step -step instructions. They also give you lots of photos on the recipe cards and chef tips to guide you along. There is quite a diverse array of meal plans with plenty of options to choose from each week. And I love also that they just have super unique flavor combinations so it's easy to discover new recipes that you maybe hadn't thought of trying yourself. So if you guys want to try out Green Chef, I have a coupon code for you. You can use code 80 Chapin to get $80 off your first month. Plus you'll get free shipping on your first box. So you can go to greenchef.us slash 80 Jen Chapin to redeem this coupon and for more details. Tonight I'm going to be sharing with you this delicious Moroccan shrimp bisque. So if you guys want to try this out or any of their other meals, the link will be in the description box below. It is greenchef.us slash 80 Jen Chapin and use code 80 Jen Chapin to get $80 off first month plus free shipping on your first box. They do have thermo flasks for $19.99. I think that's like the less expensive version. I think the more expensive version is the Hydro Flask, but I don't, I don't know. Also, I got some masks because my kids are going to need some for school. These are super pretty. Look at those. <coughs> Sometimes I get questions on what meal prep containers I use, and these are my favorite. They're the Snapware by Pyrex glass ones with the snap-on lids they're not on sale right now um, but they have them here at Costco if you're looking for them they also have plastic ones but I don't usually recommend those because if you're gonna be reheating things you don't want to reheat in plastic or at least I don't okay now I looked at this the last time I was here I just don't think it's worth it because it's 20 bucks and it only comes with four pieces um, like a fridge organizer thing. They also have an OXO salad spinner here. Now this isn't the one that I have, but it's very, very similar. It's a little bit, maybe a little bit smaller, I think, and it's about $5 cheaper than the one on Amazon. All right, I need to find apple juice and then I need to get out of here before I spend too much money. All right, so I just got done in Costco and um, Adam called me to see if they had it, had the pork belly and yes, they had like a version of it which was cut into chunks but he said that's fine so i also got some other stuff i spent around 140 dollars which is not bad for a costco trip on the fly don't worry i'm at a stop sign right now um so anyway i'll show you what i got when we get home Okay, so from Costco, I got another uh, variety pack of the Polar Seltzer Water. This is like the unsweetened, calorie-free, sparkling water. It tastes like LaCroix. I got this last time we went to Costco, and I'm pretty much the only one that drinks it. Once in a while, the kids will drink it. But this comes with three different flavors. It has cranberry lime, black cherry, lime, and grapefruit. And they're all really good, but I think the cranberry lime is the best. And also, you can mix them together. Like, I've mixed the cherry with the lime before and it's really good. So this comes in a 32 pack and I wanna say this is around $7, so it's a really good price. Um, so I need to put this out in the garage fridge, but I just brought it in here to show you, so I got a refill of that. Okay, and then here's the rest of the stuff. Not very much. Um, I got a two pack of apple juice. What, Adam, you need the apple juice for the pork? Yep. Okay, I guess Adam needed apple juice for the pork. So that's a lot of apple juice, so now yeah, we have. Like a cup and a half. Okay, well now we have a lot of apple juice. Um, okay, and then this is something new. We've never uh, purchased this before. This is the Tokyo style ramen with chicken. It comes with six bowls in there, and you can see that all you do is peel off the top, fill it up with water, and heat it up in the microwave. So I thought that'd be something um, quick to have on hand for lunch. Kira, I know for sure, likes ramen, so I'm sure she'll be excited about that and that's something that she can make on her own and then this is something new i don't well I, it might not be new because i've never specifically looked for it but this is the cheesecake factory brand brown bread it's a wheat like a whole wheat sandwich loaf um, and adam really likes whole wheat bread like dark whole wheat bread so i figured i would get this for us to try i'll probably put one um, loaf of this in the freezer because i think the date is like a couple days out um, but I thought we would try that and maybe we can use it like for bread and butter with dinner um, also. 
Um, okay, and then I got another container of this queso mama, white queso. I got this last time we went to Costco and this is so delicious. Uh, if you can find this either at Costco or anywhere else, I would recommend this. It's really good. Um, it's just good heated up in the microwave with chips. So I grabbed another one of those. And then this is what I went in for, which was the pork belly. Um, so this is kind of cut into large strips, but Adam said the recipe he's going to use, um, he, you cut it into chunks, so that'll be fine. So I got that. This was, uh, it looks like $3.69 a pound and it was 5.4 pounds. So that was around $20. I got some of these for mainly for the kids, but I like them too with hummus. Um, but they're going to be taking lunches to school. And so I thought this is always a fun idea. They like these little non breads, so I can put them in their lunch box with some meat and cheese and they can kind of make their own little sandwiches. Um, I got Murphy some of these dental shoes. These are kind of like the greenies, except they're the Costco brand. And I looked to see if they had a different size because we need large size dog for him, but they only came in one size. So it says he can have two a day, but the vet um, has always told me to give him dental shoes. So I grabbed those and this was like $22, which is significantly cheaper than the name brand at Walmart. Um, I got some Kool-Aid jammers. These are just the regular juice pouches for the kids to take in their lunches. And then I also, they had this on sale. This is the Kirkland um, sliced black forest ham. I figured we could use this for sandwiches um, or maybe some breakfast sandwiches. This is only, this was on sale for like $4.89 a pound, which is um, a really good deal. And if we don't use it all, I can also freeze that. Um, this was on an end cap and I think it's like a special buy or something. I've never seen it there before. It's the gnocchi skillet kit. It says Italian gnocchi roasted garlic and herb butter for cheese sauce. So I don't know. I thought that looked like something we could have for a quick side for dinner sometime. It doesn't outdate until September 27th. So grab that. I also got some strawberries. Uh, the last batch I bought at, I think it was Walmart. Um, were a little bit mushy and I had to end up throwing some of them away. So I looked at these and they looked pretty good. So I'll wash those up and we'll eat those for the rest of the week. I grabbed some AA batteries. We were almost out of these and these were on sale for $13.99, I think for 40, which is a really good price. And then lastly, I grabbed a pack of these masks. I've been looking for like the neoprene masks and these are not necessarily neoprene, but they're like a a lighter material and I tried one on I actually bought them for the kids but I tried one on and it fits me I'm it, it just fits me it's like a little bit tight so I'm glad I got the adult ones they had kid ones too but they looked super small um, and my kids are tall so I figured like they would need the larger ones so anyway I'm glad I got these but these came four in a pack and I want to say they were like twelve dollars or something like that so everything that I got from Costco Okay, so it is 5.15, my Green Chef box also came and I'm so glad because I'm gonna make one of these meals tonight, I'm trying to decide which one. So this one is Cajun chicken with Dijonais. I also got the keto box, by the way. They have a lot of different options and in my opinion, they're the best uh, meal kit to get if you're low carb or keto. This is Moroccan shrimp bisque and then also pork chops with tzatziki. So I think what I'm gonna do is the Moroccan shrimp bisque because this one is the quickest. The cook time is 25 minutes and that sounds good. Okay, so I rinsed off my shrimp and I drained it and I seasoned it, I can't talk, seasoned it with the um, cumin allspice blend. So now I'm gonna chop up the produce and get that into the skillet with some olive oil. Um, there's zucchini, red onion, tomato and green pepper. So I'm sauteing the 
zucchini and the green pepper and the red onion with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper until it's tender. And then when it's just about tender, I'll throw the seasoned shrimp in. I don't want the shrimp to get overcooked and the vegetables take longer to cook, so that's why I'm waiting. And then um, after the shrimp cook through, I'm gonna add this paprika turmeric tomato sauce and a little bit of water and some chopped tomatoes. Okay, so I added the tomato sauce. Now I'm gonna add the water. And then I'm just gonna cook this through until it thickens up a little bit. And then they also included some cream cheese and some feta cheese. So I'll stir that in. And then they also um, included some almonds to top it with. So once I plate it up, I'll show you what it looks like and I will share with you how it tastes. Without regrets, girl, put your faith in me. Even though we just met, let's forget about a curfew. Cause all that is stuck in my head. You wanna try my shrimp? Maybe. <laughs> the kids had uh, mac and cheese and fish. Fish sticks. Tomatoes. Mmm, that's delightful. It's very flavorful. I've never seen so What? I would recommend this. I think. Like I said, with I feel like with the keto meals you get from them, they're like super original. And also, they include lots of veggies. Like, I think this recipe has like 13 net carbs, which for some people that do keto, they probably think that's a lot, but all of the carbs in this are basically coming from the zucchini and the tomatoes. So it's not like there's, you know, sugar in it or anything. All right, so if you guys wanna try out Green Chef, uh, any of their plans or the keto plan, which I would recommend, their sauces are bomb. Check the link in the description box below. There'll be a coupon code there as well. And I'm gonna finish eating and then I'm gonna clean up the kitchen. It's me and you, all the speed in my heart is racing, but I'm not sure I wanna pace it, cause it only does this with you. Our bodies meet, I can feel the tension, move us into the next dimension, let's just let our bodies be true. Okay, so I got my dishwasher loaded and tonight was one of those nights where I just wanted to get my sink cleaned out and so I did go ahead and hand wash all of the extra dishes that wouldn't fit. I don't always do this, especially during the week, but I decided to tonight. Next, I am cleaning out my garbage disposal with one of these uh, Glisten packs. I get asked a lot what I use to clean out my garbage disposal and I usually just buy whatever I can find either at uh, Walmart or the grocery store or um, sometimes Menards, which is like a home improvement store they have dishwasher cleaner too and I I really liked all of them that I've tried next I am scrubbing out my sink with some seal wool and I'm also using some of the Mrs. Myers cream cleanser and I'm going to just rinse that off with super hot water there's nothing better than having a clean sink and a clean kitchen when you go to bed at night I'm not saying it happens to me hundred percent of the time especially <laughs> during the busy weekday but you know it's nice when it does um, I'm also gonna go ahead and wash up those strawberries that I got at Costco. I'm doing those in my salad spinner with a splash of vinegar and then I am going to put these in a container in the fridge and I just put a paper towel on the bottom to absorb any of the moisture. Sometimes I use the Freshworks containers by Rubbermaid to store my produce. Sometimes I just use regular containers um, but definitely if I'm using the regular containers I always try to put a little piece of paper towel in there just to absorb any of the moisture and then if you don't get the fruit or the veggies eaten in time you can actually keep changing that out all week and it will help your veggies last a lot longer. Next I'm going to start to put away this um, big flat of soda water or well clubs I don't know what it's called sparkling water I guess and of course I had to pour myself a glass too um, and then a little bit later I had some computer work to work on so I wanted to have a coffee while I was doing that this is my Nespresso machine I love it and I am using half caffeine uh, obviously before bed I try to use either the half calf or the caffeine free and so I'm just 
um, frothing up some oat milk and I did put a few drops of this English toffee uh, sweet leaf drops in there which are really good if you can get your hands on them and then once the coffee is done brewing I just pour the steamed milk in there and this gives you a great uh, coffee shop style drink right at home it is delicious Don't stop now, never let this end. It's 10 o'clock and I really thought I was going to fail vlogus today <laughs> because my computer had like the spinning screen of death and I could not get my video edited, but I just got it done. Edited, did my voiceover, it's processing now, so um, I shouldn't really be eating right now. I don't know. Is that really true that you're not supposed to eat after a certain time? I've heard that it's BS. Um... Dinner was delicious, but I kind of feel like since I ate such a healthy keto dinner that I maybe deserve like a little bit of ice cream. <laughs> I think I have like, there's a container of ice cream in the freezer with like just a tiny little bit left over from Connor's birthday party. So maybe I'll go downstairs and eat that. But um, yeah, I'm tired. So this is going to be a little bit of a late night, but that's okay because tomorrow I am taking half a day of vacation. So I only have to work in the morning because Saturday is my birthday. Yay. Uh, not that we're really going to do anything exciting because, you know, we're in the middle of a pandemic, but, um, yeah. So, uh, I'm going to go downstairs, get a little bit of a snack, get this posted, and I'll check back in with you before I go to bed. I always, I don't know, do you guys do this? Like, you're like, okay, how many hours do I have left? If I go to bed at 11 and get up at 5, that'll give me 6 hours of sleep. Like, I'm okay with that. Do you guys do that or am I the only one that does that? I don't know. Also, I was going to say, um, while I was working on my video earlier, after I cleaned up the kitchen, I did sit on the couch with Connor. He's like, mommy, will you sit with me? Of course, of course, I will sit with you. So I sat with him and I did, um, well, I was working on my laptop a little bit while I sat with him. We were also watching Jumanji. Well, it's like the second Jumanji movie, like the one that just, that came out more recently with The Rock and Jack Black um, and Kevin Hart. Oh my God. If you guys have not seen that, it is hilarious it is like connor's favorite movie right now and i'm not even mad about it because it is funny like we've watched it i think we watched it like every day for the past like three or four days and it's just as funny every time so if you haven't seen that look look it up it's good see there's like a barely any in here this cookies and cream ice cream also we have no clean forks well actually i think they're in the dishwasher but maybe the dishwasher just finished i can't even talk we have no clean spoons so I'm going to eat this with a fork, but see how little this is? This has to be like zero calories, right? I'm kidding. Right now you're sitting on like a tower of sparkling water. I gotta be quiet or Adam will come down here and be like, who are you talking to? He was like so like, I don't know. I think he expects me to be like all happy when I get home from work sometimes. And I'm just like, if you want to like come home to like the happy housewife, with dinner on the table like you should go back to 1950 because i don't that's not how this is gonna work here <laughs> this is not like you know i had a busy day at work and then i went to costco and then i came home hauled all the stuff inside filled my grocery haul and then he's just like in this awesome mood and it's not that i'm in a bad mood i just like i'm not like jovial like that like you know, I don't know. You know what I mean. Like when you get home and you just have this mental like list of things in your head that you need to check off. Like after you get after, you know, get home from work. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But and they're all like, hi, how are you? How, you know, how was your day? And I'm just like, can you just go away and let me get my stuff done for the night? Also, you know what else I had to do tonight? I had to start a conversation or do a chat with Google, well, you know, Google owns YouTube because, you know, I got to 100K subscribers like almost three months ago now, two months ago maybe, and I still don't have my like silver play button or someone else on YouTube. 
that got to 100K after me. She has 101K now and I have 105K. She already got her silver play button. And I was like, you know what? This ain't right. <laughs> so I got online. Um, well, first I asked my friend Christine, you know, cause she um, got hers a while ago. She's like, oh, you need to chat. You need to, you know, start a chat with them. Um, and then I was talking to my friend Mackenzie, who was also talking to uh, Jesse, who was the one I was talking about. And she's like, oh yeah, start a chat with them. Um, so I did that and they're supposed to get back to me, whatever that means. But I did actually chat with an actual human at Google, allegedly. So they are um, taking care of it, rest assured. <laughs> Not that I'm like really that concerned about it, but you know, after all that hard work, it's like, yeah, I wanna hang that on my wall. I think that'd be pretty cool. One time someone left me a comment that said that they were unsubscribing from me because I put too many emojis in my titles. I think that's funny. All right guys, so it is 10.30. I got my video posted. I'm going to post it on Instagram to let those folks know that it's live. I posted it on Facebook. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go upstairs and go to bed. I actually wanted to take a shower tonight, but I'm too tired. I'm actually gonna take a shower in the morning before I go to work. But anyway, thank you so much for coming along with me on my day today. I hope that you enjoyed. I enjoyed having you come along. Don't forget to check out Green Chef. They have that coupon code for you guys, which I'll have linked down below. It's $80 off your first month and your first box gets free shipping. You need to try them seriously if you haven't before because all of their recipes are delicious. They are definitely one of my favorite meal kits and if you're doing keto or low carb, they are my favorite choice for sure. So be sure to check that out. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for another episode of Vlogist. Bye. No, never let this